Blue Moon Beer, Keith Veer, who's out for the Great Australian Beer Spectacular, joins me now. Tony Mikeley here filling in for Dennis Walter, who's at uh, Lou Richards' state funeral. Keith, um, I wanted to ask you about, before we get to calls, um, the whole craft beer resurgence. It seems to be displacing legacy brands now and younger people who are starting off their beer drinking careers, if you like, are not drinking the beers that their fathers or grandfathers drank. Is that uh, more or less true? Uh, Certainly it is, yeah. Uh, We're seeing a lot of young people uh, come of age drinking beers with a lot more flavor Mm. and really a lot more, uh, I guess, popularity with with foods and everything. And and it's certainly not your your father's or grandfather's beer. Okay, so palates are getting more sophisticated, are they? Of course, yes, they are. And I think uh, the young people, as as they're discovering beer, uh, they're much more adventurous than their parents. Okay, well, I'm in the name of research. Research, and this is how dedicated I am to this program. I'm prepared to taste Blue Moon, and then we're going to thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so I'm, uh, I, w- I would love to have a sip. So um, uh, don't be stingy and open up before we go to some callers. Uh, hello, Paula. Hello. Um, how are you? Um, I just wanted to say that because it's Good Beer Week at the moment in Melbourne, I went to a beer tasting last night for friends of ours who co-own a brewery called Bentspoke in Canberra. Yeah. And the um, head brewer there is Richard Watkins, and they had some fantastic beers. But my favourite that they had was a stout-like one that was very chocolatey and very um, coffee-like. Yeah. Um, They brought that out towards the end of 7% alcohol or something. You'd know about that, wouldn't you? It was beautiful. I only had a few sips. It was like having dessert. It was beautiful. Okay. Well, uh, I'm about to try Blue Moon, Paula, so bear with me here. It's got a big, thick slice of orange in the side of the glass, and kind of in the same way that Corona would have lemon. Is that the idea, Keith? Well, Corona has lemon. We've got oranges because our beer is actually brewed with orange peel, Valencia orange peel, so the orange garnish highlights the orange peel that it's brewed with. It certainly oh. does. I mean, that's that's magnificent. Thank you for the call, Paul. You, you, you've never called me again. Hi, Ray. 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 Hi,